Hey everyone, Steve here. So I wanted to show you how to select and export um, QVRT or export signals into a new QVRT file through Analyst. So we're going to load up a file here that's got a bunch of signals in it. Um, this is a recording of the 900 band telemetry. I originally took this uh, recording when I was taking a look at 915 telemetry signals. Uh, so I think there's a few inside here. We're just going to find one and I'm going to pull it out. So this is my 915 transmitter right here. It's got a lot of shadowing, a lot of harmonics. Uh, we can zoom in on this signal using the mouse and uh, scroll wheel. We can increase the time resolution to see what's going on. Uh, it looks a little bright, and a little washed out right now. So let's take it off auto ranging and we will adjust the colors manually. You can actually see the GFSK pattern here. Uh, inside this. So what I'm going to do is first select the signal um, by holding down the control key. So first I'll click inside the waterfall. I'll hold down the control key. I will select the signal of interest. Uh, and then I'm going to click the add button to make it into a marker. So that just made marker five. And now you can see the center frequency. Let's clean that up a little bit. 921.25. Uh, we could take a look at the bandwidth. Uh, let's just export one mega sample. Actually, let's move this over a little bit. 0.3. All right. So that's the low frequency, the high frequency, the start and stop time. Uh, it actually works better um, if we grab more than a second or two. So I'm going to set the start time at zero and the end time to be three seconds. So that just changed around the beginning and end par portion of the marker. Uh, if I zoom out, you could probably see it a little bit better here. So that's going to go towards three seconds. Ah, doesn't really matter. So now we've got our signal selected. Let's focus back in on it. There we go. Now we've got our signal selected and we've got a little buffer space all around it. Let's just go over to markers and click export. So now we've got the chance to save it somewhere. Uh, I've got a folder on my computer that I specifically save some data in. I'm going to call this 900 uh, telemetry burst 5, I think. Uh, call it QVRT and click save. So now this is going through the process. Um, it's applying a windowed filter around this uh, sample and it is pulling just the IQ data out of this and putting it into a new file for me. So after a few seconds, uh, it completes. We can then go and load up that file that we just pulled out. Um, there it is. It's only 11.6 megabytes. Uh, when you first load a file, it's got to actually create a um, file index. So there's our burst. Um, file duration goes 3.04 seconds. We can kind of zoom in on this burst to see what's going on inside of it. Uh, we're oversampling here, both in frequency and time. Let's bump down the frequency resolution. All right, we can take a look at the scope. We can take a look at the FM demodulated signal for it. Look at a few thousand samples at a time. Uh, and you can clearly see the signature GFSK pattern going on here. So this is the preamble sequence. And then there's some data bits here. I'm not entirely sure of the encoding of this little burst. Uh, but it should be easy enough to throw into some other tools to find out. All right, that's about enough for now.